We see you. We hear you. And we stand with you. The Republicans had an opportunity here to put their best foot forward and just sound normal. That's it. Don't shout, say normal things and speak to regular Americans about what's real. And they blew it, as they do almost all the time. I mean, Alabama Senator Katie Britt is represents what's wrong with the Republican Party. The supposed rising Republican star was given a chance to deliver a powerful and fiery rebuttal to Biden's State of the Union address, but instead delivered a somewhat I don't know, phony maybe, out of touch speech. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here and lights, camera, political pandemonium. Picture this, the stage is set, the cameras are rolling and in strides Katie Britt poised to deliver the Republican rebuttal to the State of the Union address. But wait, there's a twist. Instead of the traditional podium or a dignified setting befitting a major political event, the suggestion on the table is, drum roll please, the kitchen. Mr. President, enough is enough. Innocent Americans are dying and you only have yourself to blame. Republicans in their infinite wisdom seem to have mistaken the State of the Union for a cooking show audition. It's like they're channeling their inner Julia Child meets Capitol Hill with a dash of Leave it to Beaver thrown in for good measure. And if you thought Saturday Night Live was the only one poking fun at this culinary calamity, think again. It seems that the comedic chaos surrounding Kate Britt's kitchen crusade has spilled over into the realm of serious political discourse. Safe streets and a strong defense are actually the cornerstones of a great nation. It was kind of melodramatic, wasn't it? A bit embarrassing. Doesn't really come as a surprise that Mitch McConnell handpicked that senator and she delivered a response that reflected so poorly with the party. And why can't every Republican, every single Republican learn those days are over? I don't know what the F I saw. I, I agree with the people saying she looked like she was auditioning for a show on Lifetime. The drama, the fake affectation, the over-the-top portrayal of emotions I did not believe she was feeling at all. From conservative commentators to right-wing radio hosts, everyone's jumping on the bandwagon to bash Brit. It's like a recipe for disaster that even Gordon Ramsay wouldn't touch with a 10-foot spatula. Her inauthenticity, it was totally cringe, as the kids would say. Sorry, this is how I saw it. And on Real America's Voice, the right-wing hosts were stunned into silence. May God bless you and may God continue to bless these United States of America. Uh, um, uh, I, I don't, I'm, uh. I'm sure she's I'm a very, fan of her. I'm sure she's very nice. And I, I don't want to I don't want to get but. like over the top here. But that is the everything about that on a night like tonight is wrong. The scene at Real America's Voice, live from Studio 6B, was straight out of a sitcom gone wrong. One panelist buried his face in his hands while the others looked as lost as tumbleweeds in a tornado. So whether you're left, right, or somewhere in between, one thing's for sure. When it comes to political theater, the kitchen catastrophe takes the cake. SNL is not the only critic in the media. Several big names in right-wing media have joined in bashing Brit. Megyn Kelly, known for her outspoken views, didn't hold back on her assessment of Senator Katie Britt's State of the Union Address response, labeling it totally cringe and questioning its authenticity. She embarrassed herself, she embarrassed the Republicans, and she embarrassed women. It was a disgrace. I was horrified by her performance, and I really think that it's going to take her years to rebound from that performance. Kelly emphasized the missed opportunity for Republicans to connect with regular Americans, instead witnessing what she perceived as over-the-top drama. While Kelly's commentary may not always align with mainstream reporting, her critique adds to the chorus of voices denouncing Brit's performance, highlighting the widespread criticism even within the alternative fact media circles. 
Even Republican mouthpieces are struggling to stomach what Brit and the GOP are dishing out. Whatever recipe they're cooking up, it's starting to smell more like food poisoning than a gourmet feast. Their whole idea? Yep, it stinks. And that's the fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.